moving on to the sun, as you well know, even if you weren't involved in, in the news area, just being on the floor with that buzz, with people running around and shouting at each other, uh, it's just like, it's like no other job. You can't, you can't really replicate it. I can honestly say I've never worked with more talented, intelligent people than I did on the sun. I've worked on the Times, the Sunday Times, the Express, and, uh, and it was, they were the best. And they were the best, I think they were the best because they were hated, because everyone looked down on them and they had a point to prove. Um, you know, you come out fighting, don't you? So we'd have to produce articles around five or six cars each month. So we'd get them all together on the same day at uh, the disused airfield in, in Leicestershire called Bruntingthorpe. And we'd spend, you know, we you know, lived in London, we'd, we'd get up at five o'clock in the morning, drive up there and uh, spend all day testing these cars and, um, and it would be exhausting, but we had to do it. There was no choice. We didn't have a load of money. We couldn't just throw cash at everyone. We had one photographer for one day and that was it. Oh, it's just it's amazing. Uh, when 7-7 uh, seven, seven happened, um, I was kicked off of a tube at Ells Court and Walked in, it took me like two and a half hours to get in. And as soon as I walked through the door, it was ex just an explosion. Everyone chipping in. I, had, as I said, I didn't get involved in the news desk, but I helped out that day. And it's a, it's a team, it's a camaraderie, it's the, it's the buzz. It's just, you, you can't beat it. It's an amazing experience. And I'm sure you will experience it.